Hi, good morning. It's Mrs. Fry and I am here to do story time. Today we're going to do some bug themed st a story and a little art lesson and some finger plays. So we will start with Eric Carl, the very quiet cricket. All right. And at the beginning, Eric Carl teaches us some facts about crickets. He says there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, some live above ground, some live in shrubs or trees, and some even live in water. Both male and female crickets can hear, but only the male can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say it sounds like a song. Okay, so in this story, every time the very quiet cricket rubs his wings together, we are going to do this, okay? Can you do it with me? Ready? One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good job. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, eating his way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Oh, look. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Can you buzz like a bee? Ready? Bzzz. Try again. Bzzz. Good job. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together but nothing happened. Not a sound. Oh, look. It's 
so beautiful. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Beautiful, right? As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his legs together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. Crickets make a pretty song when they rub their legs together, don't they? Okay. So, we are going to do five little ladybugs rhyme, okay? Are you ready? Five little ladybugs sitting in a tree. The first one said, I'm glad I'm me. The second one said, I feel great too. And the third one said, how about you? The fourth one said, it's time to fly away. The fifth one said, we'll talk another day. Okay, so then I decided it would be fun to do a little art project today. So I have my crayons and I really only needed my red crayon and my black crayon. Now, if you don't have crayons, you can use markers or colored pencils. You could use two of those things together. That's called mixed media, okay? But I decided it would be fun to draw a ladybug and not too hard. So first you draw a circle and then you put a line down the middle of it. And then you add a little head to the top of your circle. And then you add six legs because that's how many legs an insect has. And a ladybug is an insect. So let's count and make sure I put in the right number of legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. I did it right. Okay. And then you can put black spots all over your ladybug and you can color the head of your ladybug in black. You can add some eyes if you want to. And then you're gonna color the rest of the bugs, the ladybug's body, red. You can also color it red first and then add your black spots. It's really up to you. It's a personal choice, okay? But I hope you all have a great job making your own ladybug today. And let's get our spider fingers ready because if it's a bug day, we have to do our itsy bitsy spider. Okay, ready? Wiggle them out. Okay. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nice job. Okay, how about if we do Little Miss Muppet? Because there's an insect in that one too. Ready? Okay. Little Miss Muppet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Good job. Nice work, my friends. Okay, we are going to do our Twinkle Twinkle song. All right, so if you're ready, star hands ready. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. 
Nice job, my friends. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.